You first met the athletes of Bronx Lacrosse last year. We were so impressed with their skill, endurance, and desire to play. We had to go back. Mm -hmm. We had to go back. Why not? We love a we love a follow up. We love a follow up. Yeah. After all, the Bronx and lacrosse are not necessarily two likely pairings, Marisol. Yeah. One yeah. year later, we have learned that the student athletes and their coaches are not only getting better, they are determined to make lacrosse a fixture in DBX. Here, here, joining us live this morning is Dan Leventhal, the founder and president of Bronx Lacrosse, Coach Dwayne Stewart, the coach and director of lacrosse for Bronx Lacrosse, and Ishan Dubain, a participant lacrosse player and all around. And I heard fantastic. future D1 athletes. Future D1 around athlete. as well. First of all, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having us. It's so, so happy great to, be to here. meet you guys. You're like celebrities around these I'm parts. Telling we you. hear about you all the time. Well, it's true. We're excited to be here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's great to be back for sure. Yes, we have a new set. New set. Last time we saw you, we were we were in a different mm. set. Totally, totally new thing. Um, for the uninitiated, <clears throat> how did you come to create Bronx Lacrosse five years ago? Yeah, well, you are was, yourself a lacrosse player. I, I had a lacrosse background myself, um, and I was a middle school math teacher at the Highbridge Green School in the uh, in the South Bronx, and I was looking for a way to connect with my students. Uh, there were limited opportunities to do so, so I decided to bring lacrosse. Uh, to the students at my middle school and and since then the program has, has really taken off to use lacrosse as a vehicle to keep students on the right track That's right, and we know because we're sporty spices We exactly. know the importance of sports in a, in a young person's life and the sp how sports is always a metaphor for real life That's And right. and lessons and, and adversity and That's overcoming right. challenges. So, you know coach Stewart congratulations are in order for you uh, on a winning of the championship so congratulations and this was Thank with you. Uh, Cardinal Hayes. Yep. C congrats again. Thank so you, tell thank us you. why is it important to have a sport like lacrosse in the Bronx and the significance of that as well? I think some of the best athletes in New York is right here in the city, especially yep. in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those kids don't get many opportunities to step out of their comfort zone and play a sport like lacrosse or like a hockey. And uh, mm -hmm. Dan starting up Bronx lacrosse five years ago. Um, you know, and the point that we are winning championships five years down the line at a high school that we're partnering with is mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's very important to diversify the Bronx with different sports, and uh, lacrosse is the best sport to do that with. It is, and I, I say that not objectively at all as the mother <laughs> of two children who, <laughs> of course, we're... who play lacrosse and who my nieces play uh, D1 lacrosse. I wonder if one of you might uh, tell us who this lovely lady is. Mm. Uh, over there. She, by the way, she cleans you two up. Oh my Ooh. God. She, <laughs> yeah. she certainly cleans us up. This is Ishan. She is a rising eighth grade participant. Mm -hmm. She just started playing one year ago and she's really taken to the sport. I'll let her yes. sort of tell you about it, but she's an all star for us. Ishan, when I saw you a couple of weeks ago, it was about 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then on top of the turf, it felt like it was about 150. Ishan, how old are you? I'm 12. 12, and what grade are you going into? I'm going to eighth grade. Into eighth grade. Uh, when was the first time you picked up a lacrosse stick? In September. In September? And Not you, even. And you have to see her. Tell us what position you play. Uh, I play midfield. What does midfield do? Uh, they run across both field of the of the opposite players and uh, they're real players. Yeah, and the real players. Yeah, there's a lot of running involved in lacrosse, yes. which is why I never got into it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm just, I'm shuddering at the thought of you saying it was 150 it degrees was, on that it turf. Was, it was It is warm. no joke. I tried yeah. freshman year of high school and, and it was not Did good. you really? Yeah. Aww. I barely got any playing time. That's fine. <laughs> and I wasn't there. I never me. even tried, in part because my school, and I went to a very fancy private school, they didn't have girls lacrosse. Um, so here we are. So I know they didn't. Could you imagine? Well, mean, you bring up a good point. Cause I went to school in the 1900s. Yes. No. But, <laughs> that's not, but lacrosse, I, I feel like it was newer for when I was in high school yeah. as well. It is. I don't want to say it's an up and coming because it's been around. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm watching it on TV mm -hmm. now. It's definitely kind of pioneering yeah. as we speak a no, little bit. I, I think it's entered the mainstream. They say it's one of the yeah. fastest growing sports right. in America right yeah. now. That's oh, right. it's, it's yes. all the rage. Coach, when you and I were talking about, you know, we, we have sort of adopted this sport that came from our indigenous ancestors and that it was important for you to give back to the community. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, the sport um, was, you know, kind of created by the Native Americans and this is the medicine game for them. It brings their 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 tribe their people um love it gives them something to look forward to um it's uh something that they pass down to the next generation the next generation for me i had 
very good mentors in my life that introduced me to the game of lacrosse and got me to the point where I'm sitting in front of you here today, like uh, Jim Conan, who was the high school head coach at Hall Park High School. He was the coach at Copeg High School when I was growing up. And uh, Paul Carcatera, who is uh, ESPN uh, commentator. He's, and now he's showing off. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he, um, you know, these two guys, and there's others, but those two, more than anything outside of my family, has shaped the person I am today and, um, you know, gave me the understanding that this game is more than I needed to mm -hmm. you know, get yeah. out of the situations that I was in when I was a kid, and yeah. these are the same situations that I'm trying to help these kids get out of as well. Yes, it's such a good channel, such a good outlet. I want to ask the future yeah. D1 star here. Please. What you love most about playing lacrosse in the almost now year that you've been doing it. What I love most about playing lacrosse is they don't only care about, like, to make a like the student a better player, but they care about the academics and, like, the kids doing good in school and having good behavior, good grades and stuff. Because part of the day is you actually are in the classroom and that was by design. Yeah, right, you know, it's really, the, the, the purpose of Bronx Lacrosse is yes, lacrosse is a great sport, but we really want to use lacrosse as a vehicle to keep students on the right track, to show more engagement and improvement in their academics so they can reach their full potential on and off the field. That's right, yeah. that's right. You go there and I'll tell you what, first of all, the whole place is very inviting. You can literally walk off the street. They're like, hey, have to grab a stick. <laughs> Do your thing. Come play. But you spend and you, you spend the, the morning in the classroom. Yep. And then once you've done all that, then you get to play outside. Now, I, I would love for you to ask Ishan uh, how she spent a couple of weeks this summer. Again, I'm going to remind you, she's not been playing quite a year, and she was invited to a very special, fancy place. Oh, please enlighten us. Um, I was invited to go to the Jolie Fowdy camp. And I was also invited to go to the Adirondacks game, and we had so much fun. We did a lot of activities, not only play lacrosse, we did so much stuff. So much stuff. Yeah. And one of my favorite things about sports in general is the, is the friends that you make, mm -hmm. too. Have yeah. you, I know they're your teammates, but do you have some lifelong friends now that you've met yeah. from Bronx lacrosse? Yeah. Yes. I see, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. The community that is sports. And it's all thanks to the brain of this This one right here, man, Mr. Dan right Leventhal. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, thank you so much again for having us. This is awesome. And if folks want to get involved in lacrosse, because I've said, I, I know lacrosse, I wouldn't know how to coach it, and I you're don't an know how to play. You're an all-star. You're an all-star. Oh, yeah. I've seen you with a stick. You're, you're, you're amazing. I would love <laughs> Is there footage of this? We buried it. <laughs> <laughs> How can folks get involved? With folks can get involved. Well, listen, we're always looking for volunteers to come out and support our program. There's more information on that on our website, bronxlacrosse.org, or you can follow us on social media at Bronx Lacrosse. We'd love to get more people involved to support our young people like Ishan. That's right. How old do you have to be to become a player? You, we start going into fifth grade, so okay. that's that's around 10, 11 years old. We have kids in the program. So. And you mentor, you stay with these kids through to college. Yep. How, many, how many of your alumni are now in college? We have we have a handful of alumni now in college. We have a student that's actually going on to play at Tufts, uh, leaving leaving in the next couple days to go play. So it's, it's really exciting that we're using lacrosse uh, to help the kids reach all their goals. All right, he just threw around a NESCAC school. Mm. That means I have to volunteer and get one of your players to play at Wesleyan. Oh, we'll, we'll, t we'll take a Wesleyan <laughs> player in the future for sure. For those of you keeping track at home, this is the first mention of Wesleyan on the broadcast today. <laughs>